Oh Lord, it's coming, it's coming, come on. First time I've taken it on the interstate, and yes, we have death wobble. When I hit a bump, we have shaking violently. I probably cannot even hold the phone. So I'm going to have to, um, I mean, it's the whole reason I did this. So something in the front, track bar or something's wore out. All right, investigating some death wobble and what I think this um, track bar, normally the problems are right here in this bushing. Still could be a problem, but when I turn the steering wheel a little bit, I've got play right here. So I'm thinking this is the problem. But anyway, I got a track bar from O'Reilly's because uh, my AutoZone track bar on my other XJ is working fine, but they went up by 20 bucks. So now they're like 60 something dollars and O'Reilly still has them for like 40. So same Chinese track bar, but we're gonna change it out. All right, on this flag nut, we're gonna put some PB Blaster up in there. Okay. And then up here, we're going to support that up. All right, you've got to work this bolt back and forth because this is the one that's going to be a preen. You see that flag nut turning back there? Right there. This one's a pain up in here. Ah. All right, I got the 15 millimeter nut off and it came. It didn't come out easy. I had to use one of these forks. Put the fork in between that and beat on it. Just like this. All right, I got the boat loose. It's still stuck in there, but see how it kind of waddles? I think that hole is wore out. Let me know what you think. Man, if you see the smoke, this boat is stuck. I done torched it. It's moving, but I can't get it out. So, uh... It just won't come out this way, so we're going to keep working at it. All right, I got it out. Probably going to get another bolt. This bolt's kind of destroyed, but well, that's the end of it. And uh, I'm going to use this, and we're going to change this stabilizer, too. So I'm going to take that and pop that off. I've done that before. It's much better than beating it out. Okay, that's what it looks like. Tighten out, tighten down this, and it'll pop that piece right out. I know I don't, I'm sorry I'm not showing you all this, but I don't have any fancy camera equipment because I'm weak. So uh, I'm going to tighten that down. It should pop right out. Just like that, it came loose, you see. But it sure did a booger on that. This is the protective cover for the fuel inlet hoses underneath the uh, Jeep and as you can see it's pretty roached and um, so it's all good with the exception of this end here so I was either going to they don't sell this anymore by the way this is not a reproduced item so and there's no junkyards with any Jeep XJ's in my area so I think what I'm going to do is take this clean it up cut this part out and recreate just this part from this. I could recreate the whole thing, but why do that? Why go through all the trouble? This, this is still in good shape.
going to use this bending brake to get this uh, angle. Well, that's a lot better than beating on it. <clears throat> Worked pretty good. One of these. All right, I think I got this piece of aluminum pretty close. Um, probably close enough. So then, once I get that painted and dried, we'll attach it with some rivets and be done. <laughs> 